Trenton and uh, like North Philly. We just like smack dab in the middle. Bus County is actually like the suburbs, you know what I'm saying? Like on the outside of Bus County, it's like all nice as white people, big houses, good yards and all that. But then like the more closer you get to the middle, that's where all the niggas at. <laughs> You know, um, rap started like in middle school at the lunch table, where everybody beating on the on the on the um, on the tabletops. And uh, one of the guys that eventually became my partner in rap, he just like destroyed me in front of everybody. And the type of person I am, I'm mad competitive. And uh, everybody was like, "Yo, he killed you, bro. You was ass." All this other stuff. So then I just stayed in the crib, just writing, 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 just perfecting the craft. And then like. Like two weeks later, when I was ready, they started beating on the tabletop again at the lunch table. I just came in there and did what I did, and I shocked everybody. So then I felt like after that, I had the confidence. So then it was just rolling after that, like, you know, this is something I could do. And uh, this is my song, Fish Fry. You know how, like, uh, when somebody uh, somebody die in the hood, you know what I mean? You can't pay for their funeral. Your people's have a fish fry. I said survive six shots, get to see my mama tears of joy. Man, that's like the uh that's like the realest opening line I ever said in my life, bro. That's like, you know what I'm saying? It, Fish Fry is about like if you listen to the whole song, it's about like an issue that happened to me last year. I'm chilling in the park, you know what I'm saying, minding my own business, I'm showing this shot, I got my chain on, pocket full of money sitting on my whip. You know what I'm saying niggas felt like they could come take it from me, you know what I mean, and I wasn't really having it, so you know. I ended up struggling with the nigga or whatever, and I get shot six times. Um, four just grazed me, but I got two that went in and out of me and shit. You know what I'm saying I still got the, still got the whole John shit, a little bit of staples, but this ain't nothing. <laughs> Survive six shots, get to see my mama tears of joy. I saw Young and caught up in worldly possessions. Now his pockets tighter than the Jew in the early recession. I was feeding niggas and leaving them blessings. I stopped feeding niggas for a reason to teach them a lesson. I basically said that because you know I'm saying like uh, most of the niggas from my hood, man, I look out for. I get them jobs. I, 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 you know, I give them bread when they need it. Like you know what I'm saying, I done bail niggas out of jail, all types of shit. You know what I'm saying, but then I feel like I feel like you know, like when niggas see me balling and doing what I'm doing, they feel like they should have what I have, you know what I'm saying? So so, so by me saying I saw Young and caught up in worldly possessions, it's like once he's seen like the money, he go to the club, we, I'm popping bottles and he see that, he think he's supposed to live that life, but he ain't put the work in, you know what I'm saying? So now his pocket's tighter than the Jew in the early recession. Bars, a Jew is already tight, an early recession, you already know money fucked up, so you know. That's bar right there. Yeah. I said, I was feeding niggas and leaving them blessings. I stopped feeding niggas for a reason to teach them a lesson. I'm basically saying like, yo, check yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like you spending a little bit too much. You know what I'm saying? But then dudes get big headed. Like they feel like they don't got to listen to you. And then they just start doing their own thing. And then like me, I cut you off. I'm the boss. Like you ain't going to listen to what I got to say. Then you got to go figure out the hard way. Like you got to go take your bumps and bruises. And, you know, that's what just sparked the whole situation. Like, niggas ain't like, you know, they felt like, they felt however they felt. I said, the not his proposition when he came with it. I don't got it for you. I just spent it on a plane ticket. Get it from the muscle. Go look at my hustle. I can't help but bum this if he move like he looking to struggle. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, that's just like, you could lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. You know what I mean? Like, it don't matter how many times I help you, you know what I'm saying? If this not for you or like you don't got the hustle in you, like you're not going to get it and you're just going to struggle. And at, at ultimately, you bringing me down, so I got to cut you off, you know what I'm saying? I said, I can't I can't help a bum if he move like he looking to struggle, you know what I'm saying? Like I can help anybody that, you know what I mean, that got the motivation, but if you a bum and you move, you make moves like you looking to struggle, I can't help you, you know what I'm saying? I got my shit from the muscle, real rap. I said, who gave a broke nigga the right to speak? Pause, we're gonna stop on the first line again, man. That's some real shit. Like, it seemed like ever since um 
ever since they came up with Instagram and Facebook and everything, it seemed like everybody got an opinion and everybody's opinion ain't valid. And I don't mean to say just because you broke, you don't got a right to speak. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about like niggas with broke mentalities. Like if you still in the hood and you ain't never like had no aspirations to get out of that joint, you broke. I don't care. You could be on a block with a with a million dollars and all the street credit. Like that's not going to help you in the real world at all. Like you can't buy nothing with none of that. So it's like who gave a broke nigga the right to speak? And it seemed like everybody that's in the hood be speaking on my situation or speaking on what's going on with me. And like, look where y'all at. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said, who gave a broke nigga a right to speak? I mean, I've been out the country now for like a week. My phone stopped popping and I might could sleep. I said, I used to play the corners where the pipers meet. Never settle. I know if I level up, that means I'm twice as deep. That's that, that's crazy. Like, if you break that jaw down, I said, you know, when I was a young boy, I was a teenager, I used to hustle just like everybody else. But, like, I never settled. You know what I'm saying? I said, I used to play the corners where the pipers meet. I never settled. You know what I mean? Because I know once I level up, I'm twice as deep. And that's crazy, too, because it seemed like, you know, in the hood, when you come from the hood and you're struggling with everybody, they love you. You know what I'm saying? But, like, once you start to separate, it seemed like they get mad at you because you're not taking them with you or... They not leveling up too. I don't know. I never understood it. I never hated nobody that was on top of me. I used to all, pause, not on top of me. I mean, like in a different level in life than I'm at. Yeah, you know I mean, I usually get around millionaires and I'm asking all the questions like, how you do this? What you do? Where you go? Like my man right here. I, as soon as I seen him, I'm like, damn, bro, what you do? You know I'm saying I'm trying to figure out what he could do so I could slide in. I ain't never had no issue with somebody getting money and me hating on it or like feeling like I can't do it because I, you know, I said in one of my lines, I said I made a hundred thousand. I ain't going back. I mean, I made a hundred bands legal money. So, you know, sky's the limit. And the regatta getting slow face, debating if I should crash into him or keep the road safe. As a team, left a couple niggas on that cold case, so I don't think they feeling they money. They want that old ace. Um, anybody from my hood, you know what I mean? Anybody that, that know me coming up through the uh through the jail system, upstate, county, whatever, man, they know like when I was a teenager, like I really ain't care about life at all. Like, you know what I mean, I ain't care about myself, so niggas damn sure know. I ain't care about like them, feel me? But, you know, it seemed like as I'm getting older and I'm thinking more and I got kids and I'm like, I got shit to lose now. It seemed like I calmed down. And for some reason, you know, that I, I guess gave give wolves, you know what I'm saying? The cue to like, oh, he ain't what he used to be or who, you know what I'm saying? Or he ain't reacting how he used to act. So that gives them the cue to like, you know what I'm saying? The green light, the do whatever they want or treat you however they want or talk to you however they want or you know what i'm saying and so i said you know i'm a money now i'm getting money i'm bossed up like i ain't i ain't into that shit you know what i'm saying but you know the, my old the my old self of the ace was into that shit you know what i'm saying so i said i don't think they feeling their money they want that old ace and uh you know if you know the story you already know what's up <laughs> said made a hundred thousand i ain't going back Youngers approach me with guns out cause they know I'm strapped. Drake will tell my head, I look my shooter in his eye. You want my chain with somebody about to die. That's real shit, man. Like I spent a lot of money on this joint, man. And it ain't even about the money. It's about like all the hustle, all the work that I put in. And it's like, you know, nigga, you just gonna come and just get your get yours for free. Like, you know what I'm saying? I wasn't going for it. I mean, that day, I feel like in hindsight, like after all these hospital visits, which is total like 50 hospital visits, three surgeries. When I first got shot, I was in a coma. My hospital bill was like 400,000. So just thinking about it now, I'm like, I might have been tripping that day. You know what I mean? Like, I, you know, here, take my chain and all that. Because really, it's not worth it, man. It shit ain't worth it. I, I'm sorry, mom. I was working with pride. She know I'm stubborn. She just happy I'm alive. That's real shit. I mean, I was being real stubborn that day. Niggas ran up on me, and, and I'm like, y'all niggas not getting nothing out. I'm A money. Nigga ain't about to rob me all on some Gucci shit. You know what I'm saying? And um, I almost jeopardized my life, you know? Shit, that was a real situation, feel me? And I ain't know, like, I ain't know the magnitude of, of what I meant to the community. I ain't know the magnitude of, like, what I meant to my family. And just like the world in general, you know what I'm saying? When you almost die, it's like, it's like everybody come to the realization of like how real life is and 
how much that person means to him. So that just put me in like a whole new different scope of life. And I just think about it differently, man. Like, like I, I, I say that, I say that, uh, I say that then I, I, I didn't give it up because of pride and all this other shit. And in hindsight that now I would give it up, but in real life, I'm kind of glad that I didn't give it up. And I went through all this shit to make me see where I'm at now. But I know now just to not put myself in them situations, man. Like, I, I know why niggas don't go back to the hood once they get a little bit of status. Because you got niggas out here that don't give a fuck about their life. And they don't give a fuck about your life. So, you know, you just got to move accordingly. Yeah, man, I had a, I had a great time. You know what I'm saying? Well, all bars matter. Appreciate y'all, man. Y'all uh, y'all reached out to me after y'all heard them bars on IG. So all y'all rappers... Just keep rapping, doing what you're doing. Somebody looking, somebody going to pick you out. Somebody going to hit you up in your DM and let you know you hot. And, and, and keep going, man. If y'all want to listen to more A Money, look up any uh any platform. You look up We Limitless. Oh, no, was it We Limitless? No, nah, it's Limitless Artist. You can look that up on any platform. You can check out our compilation album. If you want to uh, hear that song, Fish Fry, you just type up Fish Fry, A Money, Limitless, gang.